Okay, guys, let's talk about doing a hanging hurdle. I mean, you know, some of you know, some of us out there still love to do ab is uh, isolation exercises. You know, still doing old school crunches and sit ups. Okay, tell you that's probably not the way to go. Let your stabilization from your heavy uh, lifting do it. Let your core come from all, all varieties of your uh, your hanging exercises. Your knees to elbows, toes to bar. Fun one we've been having with uh, uh, we've been having fun lately with just a hanging hurdle. You just take yourself a 24 inch hurdle or any sort of, sort of barrier, set it in front of you in a perpendicular position. When you grab the bar, what you do you're doing is taking your uh, both legs from the right side to the left side and back. Right and left is one repetition, but you want to make sure you're not bouncing off the floor. Just a nice even touch to both sides. So if I go right to left and back, that's one. That's two, but we're talking about, you see, we're not getting this big bounce where you're allowing that inertia to carry you out. Let your actual, uh, let me let the core, uh, or your hanging uh, 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 musculature actually control yourself, get you back and forth over the top of this thing, and put in your maximum reps. And of course, just don't stay on one exercise. So every time you come off that bar, run into your next circuit, keep the, uh, 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 you know, keep burning that furnace nice and hard and fast whether you're running right into sprints, some zombie squats, prisoner squats, hand release push-ups, and get yourself right back on the bar.